This exhibition constructed uh, around the current situation in Ukraine and my personal experience. It's uh, different parts uh, and different projects collected together where I uh, use materials from the war and through this material try to speak about art and uh, share uh, my uh, feelings and experience. I can't uh, work on other topics. I prefer work uh, in Kyiv because around me this situation uh, and I work with this situation, I, uh, I see it by my eye, not through the uh, lens of news media. Uh, no, I prefer this direct connection because I can't uh, return for my previous practice. Uh, I want a lot, but can't now. I mean that I, I can't return uh, conceptually to uh, these topics. Now it's uh, on pause. No, I, I focus it on uh, this situation because you know, for me it's not possible to work on other topics. This room represented my experience uh, of uh, refugee inside of the country. I moved to a western part, uh, most safe part of Ukraine, and uh, I lived uh, three months in a village. And there I started to work uh, uh, in a small house and organized exhibitions. And there possible to see some elements from these uh, different village shows and uh, projects that born uh, on the beginning of the war, for example, Polonica. This word uh, means uh, welcome bread, but uh, my bread is not welcome bread. It's uh, bread for occupant, it's stone bread that not possible to eat. Um, name Polonica, it was a uh, symbol uh, uh, in the beginning of the war because Russians can pronounce this word correctly and uh, we use it uh, for recognizing uh, Russians uh, uh, and uh, catch uh, diverse sounds uh, and they, it was as a symbol and a very important uh, uh, sign uh, of the few uh, first months of the war because of it. I gave the name Polonica for these objects. In the central room, we have an installation house of culture. It's uh, regarding uh, the culture situation uh, in Ukraine, uh, that a lot of uh, heritage building destroyed uh, um, by war. And um, uh, our culture alive. A lot of people uh, try to work, to try to do uh, some exhibitions, try to save museum, try to evacuate uh, art, and uh, a lot of uh, new things that we didn't know before. And uh, it's uh, brave people Before you enter the central room, you can see the list of destroyed heritage uh, Ukrainian, and also it's connected with my small house of culture in village. Uh, my practice uh, of uh, trying to make art uh, in new conditions, and it's some uh, one story uh, through three, three rooms. Russian rockets. Uh, this is a sticker project that I uh, spread uh, abroad of Ukraine in a peaceful city. I stick it uh, in public transport and uh, make documentation um, uh, because uh, when you stick it on the window of bus, when bus moving, it's uh, uh, animation illusion that rocket flight. And uh, it's uh, about uh, reminding uh, that uh, 
In Ukraine, real rockets fly and people live under attack and no one knows who will be next if Ukraine uh, not uh, resist. I, I chose this room for uh, our talk because for me uh, it's a really new step in refugee project. I am so happy about uh, uh, how we installed uh, these two, uh, two rooms, last two rooms, uh, where I represented light boxes because before I showed uh, just normal photo and the light boxes is much more stronger. And also I like this uh, antique interior and history of building. For me it's uh, very close to reality and uh, I'm happy about this room. For me, it's absolutely new version. This project called Refugees, and uh, this is uh, plants that uh, uh, arrived from Ukraine, from different uh, parts uh, of uh, Ukraine, uh, uh, that was deoccupied in different period. I, I collected it from uh, social uh, buildings as a library, um, medical center, schools, and um, uh, first they live in, in my house uh, and after start to travel uh, around uh, the Europe uh, from exhibition to exhibition. And uh, their story is possible to read. Uh, and uh, they, they continue as a people, continue to live in Europe. And uh, they hope to return and uh, finish of this project in my idea. Uh, if war finishes uh, and uh, their buildings will be restored, I will bring them back. This is idea, but no one knows what happened because today, again in the in the night, was a very strong attack, a rocket attack to Kiev.